Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about path sensitization method for fault diagnosis in combinational circuits. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. The basic principle of the path sensitization method is to choose some path from the origin of the fault to the circuit output. So a path is sensitized if the inputs to the gates along the path are assigned values such that the effect of the fault can be propagated to that output. That is here we have to assign that some inputs to the gates such that the fault will be propagated to that output. So in this path sensitization method, we have two methods are there. One is the forward trace and second one is that backward trace. So let us discuss about this forward trace first of all. So here within this combinational circuit, there is a, a fault is there at output of this gate G5. That fault is a, a stuck at one fault. That is the gate G5 output is always one irrespective of that inputs A and C. So to set this fault here, both output of this gate G3 and C must be set to 1. In addition to this one, the D input and the gate G6 output must be set to 1 such that the G7 output is equal to 1 when the fault is absent. That is here, actually here we have the stuck at 1 fault is there. So here if it is 1, then the G7 output equal to 0 but here this is the stuck at one fault if there is no fault we can say that here this may be 0 such that the output of this G7 will be equal to 1 but due to this stuck at fault here we have the output of this gate G5 is equal to 1 so when the fault is absent the G7 output equal to 1 otherwise the G7 output equal to 0. So to propagate this fault from G7 to the output F, here we have to make this the gate G4 output is equal to 1. This because if G4 equal to 0, the output F will be forced to be 1. That is if it is 0, then the aut automatically the output of this gate G8 F will becomes to automatically 1 irrespective of this G7 output. So that is why we have to make this G4 gate output equal to 1. So the process of this propagating the effect of this fault from its original location to the circuit output is known as that of that forward trace. By this the stuck at 1 fault will be propagated to that output F. From this here the output of gate G3 is equal to 1 so that here the input A equal to 0 and after that here this C equal to 1 here so here we have to put again 1 here and uh, this B equal to 0 then only the output of this gate G6 equal to 1 so here the inputs which are given here that is A, B, C, D inputs such that this A equal to 0 here and uh, B equal to 0 and C equal to 1 and here D equal to 1 so this is the test inputs which are given to this combinational circuit so that we can find out that the stuck at fault at output of this gate G5. So this fault is a stuck at one fault. So this is done by using this forward trace method in path sensitization method. And we have another method is there that is backward trace. So for example to set G3 at 1. So here we have gate G3 is there. To set this g3 at 1 we have to make this a equal to 0 this will also set this g4 output equal to 1 so in order for g6 to be at 1 so here we have the gate g6 is there so the output of this gate g6 must be equal to 1 so that we have to make this b must set to 0 here Okay, so it is clear that the G6 cannot be set at 1 by making C equal to 0 because this is inconsistent with the assignment of C in the forward trace phase. So here we have to make that the C equal to 1 here. So here also the C6 becomes to 1 and here this D also makes 1. 
So the test inputs we can get that as a equal to 0, b equal to 0, c equal to 1 and d equal to 1. That is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 1. Detects the fault that is the staccato end fault at the output of this gate G5. Since the output F uh, will be A for the fault free circuit. That is here F is equal to that is that input A. That is nothing but if this A equal to 0 then the output of this uh, F is also 0. If this A equal to 1 then the output of this F is also equal to 1. So, in the presence of that fault, uh, so the always uh, output of this gate G5 equal to 1. So, like this, we can trace that the path uh, by using this forward and backward trace methods in path sensitization methods. So, generally, a test pattern generated by the path sensitization method may not be unique. So, the test inputs which are generated here are may not be unique. The main drawback of this path sensitization method is that only one path is sensitized at a time. So, this is about that the path sensitization method. Thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.